Bonjour tout le monde, je suis Dane et voici le booktube Paris tag. This was created by uh, Jim's Books Reading and Stuff, I'll link to his video below. Uh, there are 10 questions here and uh, let's, let's go through it. I'll tag some people at the end as well. So, Dane reads. Question number one, what was the last book you read set in Paris? That is a good question. It might be Down and Out in Paris and London by uh, George Orwell. Um, I think it probably is. I, I can't say I've read that many books set in Paris. Question number two. What words can't be translated into English? Well, from French, flaneur, which is like a, somebody who just walks the streets for pleasure, I guess. Um, are there any other good ones? Poutin, I guess it, it kind of can be translated into, into English. It kind of just means whore, but it's used much more like the way that we use like shit. Yeah, that'll do. Schadenfreude, but that's German. <laughs> Question number three. Do you have a favourite book in translation? Hmm. Well, I've read a fair amount of translated literature. It might be um, Shadows on the Tundra by Dahlia Grinkic... Uh, Dahlia Grinkovisreti, I think her name is. And that was... Uh, I want to say she was Lithuanian. She was from the Baltics anyway, and basically during the Soviet occupation um, she was deported and sent to Siberia. And it's basically like a kind of Anne Frank's diary, but for Siberia and the Baltics. Um, she did actually survive, and um, she kept this like journal and whatnot, and then she buried it in a jar in, in her garden because they were still under Soviet occupation at the time. And it was kind of discovered and published after her death. Question number four. Have you read books in other languages? Oui, bien sûr. Uh, J'ai lu Harry Potter à l'école des sorcières en français quand uh, j'étais à Paris. Donc, uh, ça m'a fait... Yeah, ça m'a fait très plaisir. <laughs> Je ne sais pas, mon français n'est pas le meilleur, mais j'essaie de parler en français. Je suis un roast beef, donc... Uh, Je ne parle d'autres langues. <laughs> Um, what else have I read? I've read loads of French stuff anyway. Only in French though, I haven't read anything else. I haven't uh, done German yet because my German isn't as good as my French. Um, I'm actually currently reading Méfier vous des abeilles, uh, which is the French title for Why I'm Afraid of Bees by R.L. Stein. That's currently my bedtime book. Question number five. Jules Verne studied at law school in Paris. Do you have a favourite book by Jules Verne? Probably Around the World in 80 Days. I think I've read that in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I don't know if I've read any others. Um, but yes, Around the World in 80 Days, that was great. Question numero six. Do you have a favourite movie set in Paris? I guess Amelie was probably set in Paris. I don't know, it's been a while. Um, I'd have to go for that. Again, I, I don't actually, I can't think of many things that are set in Paris. I remember part of the fault in our stars was set in Paris. That's about it. That's about all I got. Favourite TV show, like, hello, hello. <laughs> But I don't know if that was Paris, it was just France, definitely. Question number seven. Do you have a favourite French car? I haven't driven since I passed my test. Um, and I'm not into cars, I just, I'm, it doesn't, they don't interest me. Question numero huit. Have you been to Paris? When was the last time you visited Paris? I have been to Paris, I've been a few times. The first time was when I was a baby in my mother's womb. Um, I assume I went at least one time after that and then since being an adult, oh, when I was about 14 I went with my dad and the only thing I remember is a load of strippers dressed as police uh, or gendarmes coming out of a French gay bar. Um, then I went for an away day with my work when I was about 24 and we were literally there for the day. Um, and then most recently I went to Paris about two weeks ago. Um, yeah, I got back 16 days ago, I guess. Uh, vlog coming soon. Question numero neuf. Do you have a favourite French painter or a painting set in Paris? Matisse, was he French? Yeah, he was French. So Matisse, probably. Um, I get confused a lot because a lot of painters lived in Paris but obviously weren't, weren't French or Parisian. Question numero 10. Do you have a favourite French writer? Yeah, it, 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 it's a weird one. It, it would be Anouk Ricard. Uh, she writes uh, Bon Dessiné, which are like French graphic novels. And um, she just has a really cool art style and a very like surreal sense of humour. So her, her books are a lot of fun. And um, yeah, they've helped me to learn French. So so probably, probably Anouk Ricard. And I'm going to tag some people. 
Um, I will tag, we'll just do my usual thing of seeing who I recently uh, got comments from. I'm also going to tag Charles, Charlie Heathcote, um, because he's been learning Italian, <laughs> and so why not? Alex Black Reads, um, Mindy's Book Journey, Book Seriously Man, Big Hard Books and Classics, it's been a while since I've seen Al do a tag, I don't even, even know if he does them. Say Kevy, obviously because of the name, we'll do two more, we will do Reading This Life, and we will do Cats and Camera, because just before I went to Paris, I watched her go to Norway, and that's a close enough reason, I suppose. So there we have it. That's what I made of the BookTube Paris tag. Merci tout le monde pour me regarder. A uh, n'oublie pas de cliquer le bouton d'abonner uh, pour regarder si vous voulez regarder tout mon nouveau vidéo uh, à l'avenir. Je pense. <laughs> As you can see, my French is excellent. Uh, it, it served me though. It got me around Paris. I knew enough to say, Excusez-moi, monsieur. Je voudrais une tasse de café noir, s'il vous plaît. Est-ce que je peux avoir l'addition, s'il vous plaît? C'est combien? Merci. Et uh, au revoir. À bientôt.